Hi, I'm Kamya. And recently, there have been reports about how the short-form video app Chingari is allowing NSFW content during its live one-on-one -on -one calls between creators and users. To understand the situation a little bit better, we spoke to Deepak Salvi and Sumit Kosh, two of the co-founders of the app. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to ask all of you about was uh, the paid live one-on-one uh, -on -one calls between creators and users that you've introduced recently. There are claims mm -hmm. saying that uh, these calls feature NSFW content. What sort of content is permissible on these calls? And is NSFW content actually uh, allowed? So, uh, no, NSFW content is absolutely not allowed as a platform policy. Uh, like we have dual moderation. One is an AI model which removes NSFW content. And then we also have manual, a team of 40 manual moderators constantly moderating live streams. Now, uh, you know, to find any kind of NSFW content in the app and uh, take down that con content, be it a live streamer or a user uh, trying to uh, like proactively send, you know, uh, some uh, random messages, uh, they, they, they are uh, taken down. Now, uh, coming to the point of uh, the one on one calls or the live streaming feature, this is just a feature. It's not like ads portrayed in a couple of media outlets that Chingari has portrayed uh, has pivoted into a live streaming app that absolute uh, that's absolutely not true uh, we are still a short video app uh, we are also we also have a audio audio uh, streaming uh, audio rooms feature where you know people from multiple cities in india come every day talk about random stuff uh, just like twitter spaces and yeah. recently we launched the live stream feature and there are like hundreds of live, live streaming apps in, in the world. Uh, like hundreds of live streaming apps are active in India. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of them have one-to-one -one calls. Uh, it's uh, like uh, as Chingari, we are a platform. We are a UGC, uh, you know, intermediary platform, just like WhatsApp or Instagram or Snapchat. We have built a feature. The idea behind this feature was, let's say you as a social media user, you want to connect with, uh, you're a fan and you want to connect with a, creator uh right now there is no way so let's say on instagram you know you are a very famous creator your fan wants to connect to you there is no way he can pay and make sure that he gets your time or he can connect connect with you i mean there are obviously there are tippings and other ways to uh tip and and uh, support a creator but there is no way that i i as a fan am guaranteed your uh, camera time or uh, your time so the idea behind this feature was that uh now how you use a call uh like people use it for uh like you know talking to someone getting birthday wishes for someone like there are hundreds of use cases why you can use that now just saying that uh it is exclusively used for nsfw is is like which could be like you know one percent of the use cases and that's that that that's that happens in any social media platform if you look at YouTube, Instagram, they uh, the one one percent content uh, on these social media platforms will be uh, NSFW content, and uh, the the platforms uh, you know try to get rid of this content time time and again, and that that's our strategy and our uh, uh, like terms as well. Right. So you mentioned that you have a content moderation policy in place, and that you're using machine learning for it as well. So mm -hmm. what I wanted to understand was how does that process work, and um, what are the kinds of terms and conditions you have in place for creators? So, uh, like right now, uh, the majority of the streamers or creators that you will see on the platform. So, eighty percent of Chingari's uh, user base today is males, and obviously, uh, you know, female. We saw that female streamers or female creators were getting traction across the user base. So, we initially uh, launched with a set of female creators, and we since this feature was getting traction with them we wanted to expand that segment uh, of, of, of the uh, creator base, but in no way we are like, you know, uh, genderist or sexist. We will get male creators in the platform as the platform grows, as this feature grows, as the platform grows, we'll get like a, a male creator could be an astrologer, you know, who's selling his life counseling on the app on one-on-one -on -one calls. I mean, you, you want to talk to an astrologer on one-on-one -on -one call and get, you know, views from him. And astrology is a big market in India. It could be like a chef teaching about how to cook this particular recipe on a one-on-one -on -one call, uh, you know, to his set of fans. So we'll get all those use cases live. It, it will take time. Um, like uh, coming to the moderation, 
the way the filters work is uh, so it's a AI based NSFW model. I mean, I, I won't go, go to the detailed in engineering of it. I mean, there is an engineering po blog post that we have put out already. So you can, uh, you know, infer that. Uh, but the model is being trained across lots and lots of streams and lots and lots of data that Chingari has accumulated over the past few years. And this, this data comes from short video. Uh, from images that have been uploaded to Chingari, uh, the live streams that uh, are being streamed live right now. So uh, all this learning, uh, the, the AI model constantly keeps learning. And uh, if 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 it finds that there, you know, if it uh, finds that there is skin show or uh, explicit content above a certain degree, which should not be on the platform, it autom automatically tries to block it. And uh, uh, like ninety nine percent of the content gets filtered this way. Sometimes content which is not even explicit gets filtered uh, because the AI, uh, the, the way it has been tuned is like practically uh, strong. Uh, and then remaining one, one percent, uh, you know, if the content moderators find something, they, they remove it. So you mentioned that there's a certain degree after which the, um, the filter works. What are What is that exact degree? So like how much content is permissible? What is allowed in terms of like skin show, as you mentioned? What is allowed and what is not allowed? Uh, so I I would say like uh, uh, again skin show is like a perspective like I mean uh, any uh, 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 as a nude content or a NSFW content uh, anything I think above uh, fifteen to twenty percent of your uh, like uh, upper body uh, if you are uh, showing I think that can be classified as NSFW so the algorithm works with those parameters uh, if if you are if you if you I mean uh, uh, normally, uh, like anything less than fifteen percent is okay. Uh, you know, uh, it, uh, and above uh, above that, I think uh, it it just goes and block blocks it. And these are again parameters which which gets fine tuned all the time. And uh, I'm not the best guy to uh, answer this query as an engineer. I mean, I have not engineered the model, but from as a uh, uh, like holistic view. Uh, uh, like I, I can tell you that any any kind of adult content or any kind of NSFW content that appears on the platform, the model will be able to figure it out and and block it. Okay. Uh, so the next thing, Deepak, if you want to take this one, it's about uh, advertising. Reports are also suggesting that uh, Chingari was posting suggestive ads on Facebook, uh, and in and in essence, essentially uh, suggesting that users sign up for the to the platform for streamy content is that kind of content even legal in india and was that actually happening no 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 i guess there's some kind of uh, misunderstanding that content is not ours okay so we have given a uh, mandate to few of the advertiser who create content and kind of get the users for us i come from a broadcast media so we understand what kind of you know uh, things are there what kind of legality is there how can you know so we know this we've been doing this from last 20, 22 years so this content whenever someone flags us saying that this advertiser is this content is running for you know this is not from our official handle this is from some other someone doing like this so someone tells us informs us we block them we don't work with them so this is not our ads which we officially put out okay these are some advertisers who kind of you know do so, things yeah. yeah i will I, I will just add add to what deepak just said so you need to understand like how how currently uh, our media buying operation works so there is a team inside chingari which buys media digital media on google and facebook and we run ads from our official pages yeah uh so our official pages have a blue tick mark. So if you see any ads on uh, on Chingari's official page with the blue tick mark, that is an official ad run by our internal media buying team. Right. Now, uh, these ads, you can claim that, okay, we are running these ads or Chingari has uh, ran these ads. Now, uh, other than this, we also work with third-party agencies. Like there are uh, hundreds of agencies out there who run ads for us uh, on contract. Like we pay them on a paper install model yes. uh, or, you know, a paper download model. Uh, and at, um, at uh, sometimes these agencies just go aggressive or overbold with their ads uh, to acquire users cheaply. And uh, like uh, we understand that and we uh, try to block it whenever we, something like, uh, now these ads are like, you have to understand these are like hundreds and hundreds and sometimes thousands and thousands of ad, ad copies. So whenever something is reported, we immediately go back to the agency, we, we stop it, uh, ask them to stop. Now, uh, these agencies have been working with us for years. So obviously, uh, you know, one violation is a warning. Second violation is a 
escalation third violation is a complete uh, business mm -hmm. relationship stop yeah. so uh, right now we just we 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 uh, you know uh, we we were in a phase where we we got certain escalations and we immediately stopped those uh, uh, like uh, and we uh, have taken the entire you know the uh, right now the media control within us so we stopped uh, all outside ads or outside agencies uh, to run run ads for chingari at the moment uh, once we have a proper qa in place for these ads uh, we will again uh, try to work with these agencies external agencies okay but what i can ensure you is the ads that have been run by us go through a strict uh, qa process uh, and we follow see uh, like we al also have uh, to follow the policies of play store and apple app store they yeah. do they themselves will not allow such ads if we run these ads they will themselves block these ads on google and facebook so we uh, we as a platform we are very very particular on what kind of ads we personally run uh, or are being endorsed by us so anything if you uh, you see on the chingari handles the official chingari blue tick handle is an ad that has been run by and none of those ads will be suggestive or cheap uh, kind of ads but it, uh, you mentioned uh, app store and play store reports are suggesting that chingari recently changed its user rating so it's 18 yeah. on google play store and 17 plus on uh, ios what are the reasons yeah. they're doing so so we have always been a uh, 18 plus uh, content app um, why i say that uh, is as in short video space also uh, if i mean uh, look at instagram or look at youtube i mean do you do you really think it is safe for kids i mean youtube has a youtube kids version right Right. youtube or instagram or snapchat or you or any social media platform for that matter where ugc content is out it's not meant for kids so as a as a uh, platform design and from day 1 uh, to register on chingari you st you had to be an 18 plus user where when you put your date of birth if it is below if, if it was below 18 years we wouldn't allow you to register on chingari and use chingari as a registered user so it was from day 1 now when uh, we launched the live streaming feature uh, we we, we uh, legally legally we need to ensure that no uh, you know underage uh, creator can come and stream on the app which is the reason legally we now are stopping uh, like uh, downloads for underage uh, underage uh, less than uh, 18 so this way we are legally compliant that uh, there is no way that somebody who is underage can actually come and stream on the app so uh, Uh, this is this was more, more, like mostly done as a legal compliance activity not because the app has started streaming 18 plus content that's absolutely not true uh, it's more to be legally compliant uh, i mean they, 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 because it's a ugc platform there uh, there could uh, it could happen that uh, you know uh, uh, it could happen that uh, so 1% of the ugc uh, can be this so just to um, that, uh, you mentioned yeah. you and this decision has been taken to ensure that uh, creators are safe what other measures are taking now that you have a live streaming feature to ensure that creators are also not exposed to uh, you know anything from the users and like any sort of harassment or abuse yeah yeah so the platform has all those measures like you can block a block a uh, caller or you can block a uh, abusing user somebody somebody is commenting on uh, on chingari uh, on your video somebody is commenting bad or somebody is commenting bad on your live stream you can immediately block the user or somebody is harassing you on a, on a video call you can uh, just block the user so all those checks and balances are in place just like in any other social media so uh, uh, online harassment is uh, is something that uh, is plaguing all social media platforms not just chingari so just to pinpoint chingari and say that you know creators or user or creators or users can be harassed here is is absolutely not nice uh we have all the features checks and balances out there to prevent creators and users from harassing each other now uh, and it is a very easy to use interface creators can quickly like press a block button and block a block a abusive user or block a abusive commenter another thing i wanted to know about was that earlier this month uh, chingari laid off 20% of its workforce stating that the company is going through organizational restructuring what are the sort of changes that uh, you know you're yeah. working as a part of this restructuring uh, and uh, is a change in content also one of the things being considered no not really i mean uh, see we just uh, like uh, laid off uh, laid off certain uh, staff to get to profitability i mean 
there was a percentage of the staff in the company um, which we could uh, do uh, which we which we could do without and uh, like extend our runway for another year uh, you know so uh, the decision was whether i mean uh, first of all let me tell you like layoffs are never easy they are the hardest thing an entrepreneur has to do and no entrepreneur should be uh, should be made to lay off his staff so they are one of the uh, it's it's like a worst one of the worst of the worst days in your life and you have to lay, lay off your in your entrepreneur generally when you have to lay off your staff so but the decision is if the decision is between saving your company and saving your staff uh, you know you have to save your company first and which is the route we took um and it just helped us extend our runways you know focus on exactly what is working right now execute on those features better and get to profitability as soon as possible speaking of runway and there's like a lot of competition for chingari now the co- the company climbed up when tiktok was banned like soon after since then we've mm-hmm. seen the rise of instagram reels youtube shorts both of which are like direct competitors to your platform how is chingari tax absolutely okay so uh, comparing us with youtube shorts or uh, or instagram reels is uh, just one aspect of it uh i think you completely missed out the web3 aspect of chingari the gari token and that is what you know, i would do after this yeah like how why we are differentiate how we are differentiating from an instagram reels or youtube shorts um so t- in a typical web2 platform uh, you know in- instagram reels and uh, youtube shorts already have like 400 500 maus they have uh, the content depth uh, so they- even with a billion dollars you cannot compete with them i mean you have to have a product which clearly difference uh, differentiates the offering to a user so uh, that, and that's the reason why we built gari and you know figured out a monetization model around gari as well and I mean, right now the times are are bad the crypto market is crashed and gari all also lost like 90% of its value because of a uh, crash that happened with us uh, but i uh, the the i uh, the vision the, the vision has not changed the vision uh, behind you know gari being an integral part of chingari is still there uh, the way we are going to do this is uh, the whatever so we uh, we have like a years runway and we are already uh, doing very good revenues uh, around 15000 dollars a day uh, right now uh, so we 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 see ourselves getting profitable in next 6 to 9 at the current growth rate that we are seeing in our revenues like chingari is today uh, uh, the top Uh, sixth grossing app in I- iOS, iOS, and around I think top twelfth grossing app uh, in the social network category in Play Store, and top thirtieth grossing app uh, across all the apps in India. So we're doing good revenues. Uh, the revenues are picking up as we acquire more users. You know this is gonna get us to break even and profitable very soon. Once this is profitable, uh, we also have integrated a Web three aspect to this. So you can buy the diamonds that you use in the app using Gari tokens, and these ten uh, percent of these profits we are gonna burn. so let let's say we do x million dollars of profits 10% of x will be burned every month and as soon as we start burning the the circulation circulating supply of gari will start reducing and over time in next 6, 16 to 18 months when the bull market is there you will see gari back to where it was or maybe higher than where it was in its all time high and that's when you know people will realize like what we have built so yes. right now everybody everybody is speculating okay gari has crashed these guys just tried web3 it has failed um I, i to them my answer is just wait and watch wait for next 12 months and and then then you will get uh, the answer to what hi sorry, sorry. um and broke uh, yeah, yeah. it is what you said that was the last thing i heard uh, sorry say that again what was the last thing uh just wait for the next 12 months and things will be uh, yeah that that's what i said at the last just wait for next 12 months and then we will see what chingari is okay just one quick follow up on this and that's pretty much all the questions i had uh, so the gari token is also being used to uh, pay creators for one on one calls no not directly but uh, so we use a, a in app currency uh, a web to in app currency uh, called called diamonds chingari diamonds but they can be bought using gari tokens so gari tokens have an inherent utility in the app now the where you can use the gari tokens to buy diamonds okay that's that's all from me thank you so much for talking to sure. me thank you thanks bye bye right bye